Welcome everyone, Farmer Top here. This is going to be a new mod map tour of Tyro... Ty goodness, I can't talk. Tyrolean? Tyrolean? I'm probably saying that completely wrong. White Creek Valley. This is by uh, Tyroler. He mod modding. It is 385.98 megabytes to download for PC and Mac only, at least as of right now. Um, I'm going to read the description and then we'll go ahead and get into it. So, well, at least I'm going to try to read. It's not going well so far. Um, it says, welcome high, welcome high up in the Ty... Tyrol, I cannot do that word. Tyrolean White Creek Valley on a mountain farm at 16 or 1607 meters above sea level in the North Tyrolean Alps. Descended from a long established family, you have taken over the Yerbach Overtall. Uh, the mountain farm was completely renovated in 2021, as well as new cowshed built to be prepared for the future. This map is based on real terrain and elevation data from the White Creek Valley in my home country. The mountain farm, which already belongs to the player, is fictitious, as are the other buildings. I have tried to build as many buildings as possible myself, and I'm happy to show the beautiful uh, Tyrolean wooden construction style. On the on the mountain farm, you'll find cow and sheep stables, as well as storage possibilities for hay, cheese factory as as a milk sales point, or to produce cheese yourself if you want to buy it. Uh, furthermore, there is an Alpine Inn with a shop nearby where you can sell some products such as wool. Standard fleet of vehicles is available, but if necessary, there is a small vehicle shop where you can equip yourself. The vices from the hay and forage pack fit very well here, which would make sense. I'm going to scroll down on the, uh, there we go. Okay, perfect. Make sure I, yep. Okay, scroll down. So, your stables are not empty. The existing cows and sheep are waiting for their food. If animals are to be sold or bought, there's a small animal dealer at the bottom of the map. At this point of sale, your felled wood can also be traded. Steep metals are normal here, so you need courage and the right equipment to produce your hay. Due to the altitude, there is only grassland farming done here, so there are no fields on the map. In addition to haymaking, forestry is an important area of activity. Therefore, a large part of the map consists of various challenging forest areas, some of which you already own. The map is small, but rich in detail and has many objects and models built by me. Greatly increased terrain scaling, custom buildings, own decorative objects such as avalanche barriers, uh, seasonal objects such as snow poles, turret with flow map, adapted climate according to the altitude, snow also possible in spring and autumn, uh, adapted map illumination, adapted fruit types according to the altitude, license plates changed to fit Austria and Tyrol, uh, hay drying production, cow stable is prepared for manure system uh, from Wobster, hay crane, I wish you a lot of fun, and there are five required mods. So, here we are, up by this bench, up in, high up in the uh, mountains here, this would be a beautiful area just to sit and just relax, I would love that. Anyhow, it's beautiful. Okay, in here, let's go into here. So this is the map. I'm going to turn the grass off just so we can see a little bit better on here. Um, but you'll notice that's the only field that exists and we own it. We also own this chunk and this chunk here. So this area through here, this is going to be the mountain farm up here. It's very basic, very basic. We're going to walk down to this farm, but then we're going to fly over to see the rest of it. Um, and these are the only crops you can do. Wheat, barley, oats, corn, and potatoes. Um, it just, that's the way it looks on here. I'm not sure if uh, if you turn seasons off, if you can do all the other ones. We actually might just test that. Um, let's see here, season growth. So if we turn that to no, um, yeah, it still has only those listed. So I don't know if it'll let you override that to do anything crazy, but you might be stuck just doing those, which is kind of nifty. Um, okay, no added products, I believe in here. Nope, everything's pretty standard. Uh, we do have quite a few pieces of starting equipment. We'll take a look at that in the store in a second. $100,000 starting in new farm mode, no starting loan. We do have 21 cows and 40 sheep right off the bat. We have another cow stable extension and cow metal. Uh, set for more of those animals if you'd like to do that. No contracts, there's no fields, no production chains that we own starting out, and no collectibles. So, um, yeah, it's pretty interesting. Um, pretty, yeah, pretty nifty little map here. I'm gonna sip my coffee there. It's definitely not for everyone, but I think a lot of you guys will actually, or not even a lot of you guys, but I think there's a very specific audience of you guys that's gonna really enjoy this. So, um, we're gonna work our way down. It is super steep. It's crazy, Steve, which is kind of cool. There's our sheep down there. Let's work our way down this way. It is a beautiful map, honestly. Beautiful up here. Um, let's get over to here. This is one of our other cow areas. What was this for? This is for farm. Okay. I'm not sure. Is that's If we go into animals, is there... Buy it. Let's just buy a cow, just so we can see. Okay, it is the that one right there, the cow meadow. 
but it's weird that it said farm up there. Uh, okay. Run down the hill a little bit quicker. A little storage shed over here. It's kind of nifty. Like that. Nice little bridge and a little water hill creek there. That's great. I love that. Uh, okay. A little manure pit there, it looks like. Some slurry areas. These cows are right here. Eight. Actually, no, we don't have any in here. This is the other one that's... Cow stable must be that one. Okay, right there. Yep, so we could put one in there. And that would give... Okay, there's all that. Interesting, interesting. There's that one cow we just bought, I bet. Out this way, got some stuff stored around here, and that's actually, excuse me, let's take a look at the store what we start off with. Um, nothing least, we own a lint or lint track 130. We own a little AB mower. We own a Schaefer telehandler. Um, what do we have for telehandler tools? Well, I guess that's technically a front loader, isn't it? Yeah, that's technically a front loader. So, front loader tools we have a fork with grapple, pallet fork, round bill fork, and manure fork. We also have a pickup truck. We have the Lintner Unitrack. This is one of the required mods here. Manure spreader for that and a slurry spreader for it. We have a nice little mower there. A couple of tatters in here, actually. A little windrower, forge wagon. We have a straw blower. We already looked through those. Then we have a 10 winkle FGB weight. And then we have a little trailer there. So very basic equipment, but pretty much everything you'd need to kind of get going on here. That's the road that goes down. That's kind of nifty. So this road where this one goes then let's just go up over here into the mountains that one goes down to the town a little fuel point there kind of nifty this one has a little repair trigger in there for us and this one yes 40 nope that's the 40 sheep there so yep that's our sheep pasture and that's yeah we know we found all the animal panels so we're good we found them all there's four but i've already i've already found them all it's all good love the little garden up here hey wait a second sunflowers no sunflowers on here, but yet they're growing. Ha ha ha, suspicious, suspicious. Um, <laughs> sorry, just, I couldn't help it. Um, you could do a greenhouse up here still and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, I think we show off everything in here. Uh, oh, I didn't really look at the, uh... oh, it's right there. Okay, sleeping wardrobe's right there. Small, yeah, everything else we've taken a look at. Cow meadow, all that good stuff. So. We are going to, it's time already to do flight mode. To take a look at all this. So we own all this land up here, and yeah, that does go, actually that just goes across into nothing. But I guess you would use that to get probably up over into the mountains up over here. Yeah, you'd see the end of that road there. You'd probably just use that to cut across. So this is crazy. I love the, I love the terrain. Honestly, dude, this is really cool. Um, then this is the whole map right there. I felt like I was just going to keep one, but no, this is it. You can see it all from right here. Uh, nothing too crazy on it. We have our one field down here, which we do own this field. Not the land around it, just the field itself, which I believe has potatoes on it right now. And then down over here, we are just down here. We have the wood chip sale. Well, let's tag these. Wood chip buying station. We have the wood chip sale. We have the small sawmill, which is not a production chain. Then we have the animal dealer, which you can see that one right over there. Um, and then if we go up the hill a little bit more, this just kind of goes off the map. If we go up the hill a little bit more up to here, we have a very small vehicle shop, bail barn, store and hotel, and gas station. So all that stuff's packed in right there. And then a couple of avalanche barriers. Those are kind of nifty. I like those. And over here, we have ourselves the dairy production facility. There's a nice little stream that goes down. But that is the entirety of the map, forestry and grass for the most part. So... Uh, will be a very challenging place to get a productive farm going, but very cool. I like the style of it. So there you guys go. If you guys enjoyed, please drop a like down below. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button up on the screen to join the Farmer Cop channel. Turn your notification bell so you miss any future videos I may post. This has been Farmer Cop. Thank you guys for coming and for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.